Hello, and welcome to this Omaha District Court update. I'm Jason Colbert. Last month, President Biden signed a proclamation marking October 11th as Indigenous Peoples Day. This month, we celebrate and honor Indigenous Americans and Alaskan Natives during National Native American Heritage Month. The Omaha District proudly recognizes the Indigenous people's resilience, strength, and the many positive impacts they have made to American society. From the natives who helped guide Lewis and Clark across the country in the early 1800s to the code talkers of World War II, your vital contributions have not gone unnoticed, and we thank you. This Veterans Day, November 11th, USACE will be waiving day use fees at its recreation areas. There are more than 2,800 USACE operated recreation areas nationwide. This waiver covers boat ramp launches and swimming beaches. Other agencies that manage USACE rec areas are encouraged, but not required, to offer the waiver. Visitors should contact Lake and River Project offices before visiting to ensure that they are open. To discover a USACE recreation area near you, please visit the links below. The Missouri River Water Management Division held its fall public meetings last week. Some highlights included the status of the Missouri River Basin, water levels, and the Fort Peck flow test record of decision. According to the Drought Mitigation Center, approximately 88% of the basin is currently experiencing some form of abnormally dry conditions, or drought, which is a 6% increase from the end of August. For more information and to view the public meeting, see the link below. Lastly, a friendly reminder, November 7th is the end of daylight savings. As the saying goes, spring forward and fall back. So remember to set your clocks back one hour this Sunday. Thank you for joining us and have a great weekend. Reporting from the Office of Public Affairs, I'm Jason Colbert.